Well, hello, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my vibe, I would appreciate those likes and subscribes. Everybody who already has, thank you. If you've donated to my channel in any way, energetically, monetarily, thank you, Scorpio. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPrincess.com. It is in the description of this video, as well as the link in the bio. I have many different options, and I am running a 10% off sale on all FaceTime sessions by booking online and using promo code BDAY1. That information is in the description of this video. If you would like to enter to win, Hey, hundred and seventy-five dollars. You can do that by liking, subscribing, and entering blessing. But as always, Scorp, if you're doing well for yourself, let's pass this forward to our friends that could use the extra come up. But everybody is welcome to enter to win a free half hour FaceTime reading by liking, subscribing, and entering reading. Well, I hope you're all doing well, and I hope you're vibing high, living your best Thursday life. We are going to see what is it that you need to know. What do you not see coming towards you, Scorpio? What are the messages that you need to know here? We are going to have a positive reading. If you have watched my daily reading, I hope I did not trigger. And I am a little tired of the heaviness myself. So I said a prayer. I cleanse the energy. We are going to have a positive, beautiful reading. I may actually uh, take a step back and um, not read a day coming up here to try to cleanse the energy a little bit. <clears throat> You are attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. Number 20, marriage. Ooh, Scorpio, attracting in um, somebody that would be marriage, marriage material for some. For others, you may be attracting back somebody you have been married to in the past. But what you don't see coming, marriage is a symbol of emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. Your aura is electric, attracting exactly what you need right now. There is abundance and joy and happiness and life's gifts surrounding you. The key to happiness is to strive for much harmony as possible. There may be more than one celebration at this moment with new family members arriving through marriage, births, or engagements. Children will make you proud. Give of your time freely to those in need especially family loved ones from the past could return this card symbolizes perfect unions both business and in your personal life and this is the overall energy of what you don't see coming did you hear me lots of celebration love joy you feeling fulfilled good things happening with your children possibly pregnancies just beautiful moments to come scorpio the holidays being beautiful spending time with family and friends perhaps reconnecting with somebody from your past a friend a lover a lot of good things coming that you just are not seeing right now moonlighting you can start working your dream job or career part-time while keeping your other jobs to pay the bills. Soon your dream career will take flight and fully support you. But conscious consumer, you have the power to heal and help the world with your decisions to only buy products and services that are ethical and environmentally friendly. For a lot of you here, you're being guided in a direction. You could be being guided to uh, moonlight in a career, but be a conscious consumer. If you think abundance is something that happens in the future, it will always be one day away from you. See, feel, think, and speak abundance as something that's already happened in the present moment. And that is what you will experience. For a lot of you, you're being guided to change this mindset up. Because what is coming towards you is so beautiful and so much more and so much better than what you have been currently um, experiencing. A lot of you here have a lot of fulfilling things about to come. A fulfilling career, a fulfilling relationship. But changing your mindset to believe that you're already abundant is what you're being guided to do. Look at this. Wish fulfillment becoming quite popular. Brand new hopeful life, Scorp. This is what you don't see coming. My goodness. But 
there could be some disappointing news on the way something not going in your favor an inconvenient truth for some of you there's an inconvenient truth about somebody that you have been waiting for an inconvenient truth about a situation that you don't want to see there could be something coming here where you have to be honest with yourself you have no other choice because it's going to uh be a little disappointing it, it seems to me right now currently you're torn between worlds moving into the future you're going to go from that dried up desert to this beautiful abundant life the space between the old and the new, trying to balance out two lives in transition. You're just in transition. For some of you, you're dealing with financial issues. For others, you have financial blessings coming. You could be trying to generate more money. Your finances changing, getting better, clearing away some debt. Amen, spirit, I claim. For some of you here, um, you are improving your self-image. Focus on what you can change. The divine is asking you to focus on what you can change and try to let go of any um, insecurities. For some of you, you may be feeling a little insecure about yourself. Maybe you've been through a hard year and you don't feel you're looking your best. Well, Scorpio, have that be your mission. Set that as your goal. Um, my goal is to clear away some um, past bills. And so I am manifesting doing that, being able to just wipe them clean, pay them off in full, anything that is still bogging down my credit. For some of you, you may want to start setting goals and working towards, um, working towards it. If you're not uh, good at setting intention, you may want to start doing that changing um, the way you behave and the way you deal with your life instead of just willy-nillying things perhaps you want to start setting goals for yourself and then micro goal set do one little thing at a time to work your way to this beautiful abundant life for some of you here it's a matter of changing your mindset and stop focusing on what you can't change and focus more on what you can so spirit what is this sad inconvenient truth four of cups the moon oh boy and the ace of swords there's something coming in here scorpio and it will be the truth it looks to me like you've been a little fearful like you've been under illusion and unfortunately there's something coming in here that that may make you feel four of cups a little rejected a little fearful but Scorpio, know that whatever truth this is that you're about to find out about another lover or a friend or a, a co-worker, it is for your highest good. The divine wants you to see this, wants you to be really honest with yourself. What is this wish fulfillment coming, Spirit? That What is the beautiful wish fulfillment coming for my babies? Seven of Wands in reverse. The Knight of Swords. And the magician, you're manifesting this. It's happening much faster than you than you realize. For some of you, you have something manifesting in. It's going to um, take off very fast. Um, you may be getting unblocked from somebody's phone. For some of you, uh, for others, you are finally standing up and fighting fighting for your life, fighting for the life that you deserve and desire. A Virgo or a Cancer, a Pisces could be important to you. Tell me about the transition spirit. For some of you, you're transitioning from um, being married to single. You're transitioning from, uh, you know, having kids in the house to not. You're, trans you're transitioning in between jobs. Or some of you, you're just transitioning in general. You're going into a new season of your life, and it's maybe been not easy. It can be so difficult. But you have got this. You're almost there. It's just a matter of changing your perspective here, Scorpio. I feel like for a lot of you, the sun, the star, wow, and the queen of cups. You're transitioning out of a time of lack. You're coming into a place of a lot of warmth, happiness, healing. You embodying your own energy here. Very, very good. Very good. Um, sitting in the Queen of Cups here in a very beautiful energy. The sun coming. Lots of warmth. I feel lots of warmth. I feel here over the winter um, a lot of healing happening for you all. 
you're in transition right now where you may be repeating cycles or just spinning in your mind or just spinning out with your finances and you're finally going to start seeing some some growth in your finances or growth in your life a lot of happiness as well for some of you you may actually get pregnant if that's something you're looking to do or you may find out that there's somebody in your life that is pregnant and you're going to be a grandmother or father or you know your sister or something somebody close to you moving on here to what we don't see coming in love spirit what does this is beautiful Scorpio, hang in there. You're almost here, sweetheart. You're almost here. This is so beautiful. You're in transition. You're you're just there's just a little half of you that still needs to go into this beautiful um aura. Your aura is very warm and beautiful. You're electric right now. You're bringing in people and things to you. You're sitting in an empress energy. Continue to do whatever it is you are doing because a lot of healing and happiness on the way. There could just be a little inconvenient truth that you have to uh, work your mind around. A natural leader standing out from the rest, a ruler of their heart, wishes coming true, magical energy surround you, your thoughts are manifesting. I can't make it up here, guys. What's coming in love? Somebody you are manifesting. Focus on only what you want out of a lover, not what you don't want right now. For some of you, you have a secret admirer. They're fearing your rejection. They want to come in and say something. This is a brand new person for most of you. There's somebody surrounding you, around you, that feels a lot of attraction towards you. A lot of um, love. They feel like you are a perfect match. What you don't see coming, somebody you're highly compatible with, somebody that you have a perfect match with, very compatible, alchemizing the energy, retrieving what was lost, creating something out of nothing. This is where you're going to be. Again, fighting again, fighting to be happy, allowing yourself to let go of the past pain or let go of a past person. It may come with a inconvenient truth that you're going to have to heal from. And that is what spirit is letting you know, a heads up, that there could be something you find out that may not um, be part of your plan or what you were thinking was going to happen. But at the end of the day, there's somebody coming in that you are a perfect match with. There's also somebody on the rebound here trying to move on, drinking a lot, doing things they shouldn't, deeply missing you. What you don't see coming is this person could possibly reach out to you. Yeah, it's a surprise. I already knew this. But Spirit's saying it needs to be all or nothing. Last dance. Final chapter here. Um, for some of you, you're telling a person that you'll give it one more try, but you need them to do A, B, and C. And if they don't do A, B, and C, you're out the door. And I hope you stick to that. For a lot of you, you've told somebody that... It's over completely, though. You're not giving them any second chances. And that is why the sun, the star, and the magician is all in your energy. Because you are manifesting a new connection, a new way of living, and a new you. You're going to feel brand new. Now, tell me about this person first who uh, is drinking to forget. Yeah, they're feeling just pulled in so many directions. This person seems to be focused on work very selfish drinking a lot they could be dealing with somebody they have children with but do look at you like you're the empress like you're the emperor like you have everything they could ever ask for or want they may come in here and ask if they could work on your relationship but for a lot of you here it's been the final dance you don't care you don't care what they want anymore they've done the very most to you you're tired of these inconvenient truths. You're tired of getting phone calls from third parties or finding out they're supposed to be here and they're not or just them bailing out on your connection. You're over it. You're, you're ready to move forward. Baby Luna is chewing something. I don't know what it is. What is it, Tuna? I can't see what it is, but I'm afraid it's something she's not supposed to be chewing. Oh, boy, this, this dog. So... Who is this secret admirer? This person that from your past could be an earth sign, a water sign, a cancer. 
Tell me about the secret admirer here that is fearing Scorpio's rejection but feels they're a perfect match. This is somebody here, Scorpio, who could have just been through a breakup themselves. This person could be your boss, your supervisor. They could be a boss or a supervisor. They could own their own business. This is somebody who went through a breakup too. You all mirror one another. They went through a lot. They've been betrayed in the Ten of Swords. Or they know you're still healing Four of Swords energy. That's why they're not reaching out. They may notice on your social that you went through a breakup. Or they may notice on your social that you newly changed your status. Or um, uh, you know they, they're in your friend group. So they know that you um, are just in the middle of healing from this past connection connection for some of you you told this person that you seem to um what's the unexpected surprise coming from my babies there's some shocking revelation wheel of fortune two of wands and the six of cups for some of you this is something shocking about someone from your past you could hear something about them Scorpio, um, for some of you, you're moving forward and you're, you are meeting a faded past life relationship and it's going to be very unexpected and shocking on how much you vibe with this new person or how much you have in common with them. You don't see this coming. This could be a fixed sign, a fire sign. Tell me what this new person's true intentions are with Scorpio, please. What are their true intentions? Knight of Cups, Eight of Swords, oh boy, and the Devil, oh boy, Scorpio. This is somebody that could be obsessing over you. For some of you, this secret admirer is a past person um, that's in their mind, wrapped in their head, obsessing, going round and round, Knight of Cups energy, wanting to come in with some love offer. For those that this is someone you don't know, this person obsessively thinks of you. They think of you a lot. It could be an earth sign, a Capricorn, an air sign. This is somebody who thinks of you day and fucking night. They think about reaching out to you. They watch all your posts or they're, they're always admiring you. I feel this person feels like you all would be a really good match. Mm -mm -mm, Scorp. You have two people here. Ten of Pentacles. This new person, though, baby, has some money. This new person here is somebody that could do a little something for you. It's going to bring a tower. Five of Wands energy. The, the, for some of you, what you don't see coming is there's going to be uh, lovers competing for you. What you're not quite seeing is there's lovers here that are going to be competing for your love and competing for your attention, Scorpio. It's going to be a little shocking for some of you. As soon as you start dating a new person, this past person who's been drinking to try to forget and on the rebound is most likely coming back in with, with their fuckery and you are literally going to excuse yourself from the relationship is what most of you will do. For some of you, you may tell them you're not playing games. It is all or nothing this time, period. And if they give you the same dumb old love offer that they always do and, and you get the same old prize, you are, are asking them to. To, um, exit your life whoever I'm channeling today you have made up your mind that you deserve more and congratulations I'm so proud of you very good what does this past person have to say please no escape helpless an escape is on you this is a drinker this is someone who drinks to forget drinking seems to be only way that numbs my mental agony I feel trapped by my circumstances. There's nothing I can do. And it doesn't matter how far I run. My heart always runs back to you. And this could be what they come in saying. This could be the bullshit that they're on. Wanting to come back in and tell you that they can't escape you. Blah, 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 blah. And for some of you, I really hope it works. I really do. But for most of you, this person is coming back in the same way they left and you're just going to get the same old thing and i feel most of you that this resonates with you're not going to accept it it's going to be less than you deserve and less than you expect 
you may be building it up in your mind like it, it, it will be something beautiful and then when it comes back together find that oh my god it's the same thing and you i'm not actually that happy is what i'm being told here Nevertheless, there is a brand new person coming in you're going to have great chemistry with. It will be wish fulfillment. This person could do well for themselves. They seem to be going through a breakup and they're in incredibly attracted to you Scorp. so there will be competition and you don't see this coming oh my goodness now we're all in different timelines but for most of you this is happening here by the end of the year very 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 good what is the message we can give my scorpios please what message do we have for scorpio please let them go number 18 the tree so guys most of you that this reading resonates with, you're ready to let go. You're ready to move on. You still have love for a person, but you're just ready. You're tired of their drinking. You're tired of their rebound of uh, third parties. Just them being helpless here. You want a boss. You want somebody that can do a little something for you. You want somebody to take charge and want to build and grow with you. And that is exactly what is coming but it may require you to let go. You often take on the pain of others. You used to think it was because you are an empath, but these days you're not sure. Sometimes it feels like other people are emptying, emptying their emotions into you and giving you nothing in return. Sometimes we even feel we've inherited pain from those who came before us in our family. This is your permission to let go. Your life is ultimately about you, not what other people expect you to carry for them. Scorpio, a lot of you are dealing with a situation where, number one, there's generational pain here. There's generational hurt. Number two, and you're about to break a generational curse. Number two, you're dealing with a situation where this past person is hurt. They are. They need, they need healing. They need, they really need to start dealing with their shadow side. And it's sad. And you've, you've allowed and excused for so long because you know that they had a bad childhood or a bad marriage or, or whatever the case is. But you're now getting to a point where you're letting go and you're saying, I can't take on your pain too. I can only take mine. I, I have to deal with my own pain. I can't take both of ours. And that's where a lot of you are going to be. If this person comes back in helpless, chaotic, drunk, dealing with third parties, it's just not even going to vibe with you anymore. You're going to say, oh, my life has been so peaceful. I've done so much work on myself. I'm not going back here. And because of that, you have wish fulfillment coming in for you. Find ways to fill your cup. Be self-full. Follow your heart and always trust your intuition. Go deep within. Find your triggers and address them one by one. Self-healing is the best healing. Only then can you offer the best version of yourself. The divine is saying you don't need either of these people. You have yourself. You can fill your own cup. When you are a hundred with yourself, you've dealt with your shadow side, you've dealt with your wounds and your dating, it's so peaceful and exciting because you're not desperately hanging on to somebody. You you understand that life is a journey. You don't get um, you know, you don't fall apart when someone leaves. You understand that we all have our own journey and you feel filled within you. If you're not quite there yet, that is what you're being guided to do is to find ways to fill your own cup, love. I'm so proud of you. You're doing such a great job. I hope everybody has the best Thursday ever. This is going to be the Thursday, the best Thursday we've ever had because, baby, I claim spirit. We have wishes granted here. Really good things coming in. Your thoughts are manifesting. Keep them nice and positive. Even if you do it for two days, keep them positive. What is it that you want out of a person, Scorpio? Don't think about what you don't want. Love and light.